He said, oh, I want to see your hair. Um, I thought he was joking. Eight-year-old Safa, we are not going to use her last name or show her face, says she simply did not feel safe at PS76 in the Bronx on the afternoon of May 2nd when her substitute teacher ripped off her hijab, injuring her eye in the process. They're like, oh, you can't see my hair. And I left, my sister left, we're like, you can't see our hair. He's like, I'm going to take this off if we were behaving. My sister said, you can't. And I said, you can't, because if you did, I will tell the principal. And then he just start laughing, he took it off. And then I fixed he it. He took it off. And then I fixed it, and then I was holding it. And then he took it off again, so I ran out of class. If you live in New York City, one of the most diverse in the world, then you probably do not need us to explain what a hijab is or why some Muslim women wear it. The fact of the matter is it is worn for many reasons, including as a way to demonstrate modesty or devotion to God. It is a religious custom and preference no different than Orthodox Jewish women who choose to wear wigs and long skirts or Christians who choose to also dress conservatively or wear crosses around their neck. Did he yank it off or did he slowly take it off? He yanked it. He pulled it so hard. I was so mad, like, you don't know how it was my feeling. I was going to cry so bad, and I was crying. I was pissed at him. I'm like, what for what are we coming to school? For learning or for just some fight with other teachers start taking hijab out of Muslims girls? Safa's voice began to quiver as she recalled that encounter with her substitute teacher, identified as 31-year-old Agnatega Ada. Her father, Muhammad, who also asked us not to reveal his identity, was at work at the time. He immediately went to the school and called police. I was upset, you know, is my little daughter, and uh, every dad like felt like how I feel, and you know. Eda was not arrested, but a city Department of Education spokesperson tells PIX11, quote, this alleged behavior is completely unacceptable. This individual was removed from the school immediately and his employment has been terminated. For Safa, her substitute teacher's termination also produced a powerful lesson, standing up for who you are and what you believe in. And I feel so proud of myself that I handled this up. Even if the teacher still took off my hijab, I, I didn't go to school without hijab. It's still word hijab, and I'm proud of my virgin. We don't know if Mr. Ada was driven by bias, religious intolerance, or a twisted sense of humor that led him to believe that it would be okay to yank a hijab off a student. Whatever the case, Safa's father says he believes this was a serious enough matter not to leave it up to school officials, but to call police. He's glad he did. In the Bronx, Jay Dow, PIX11 News.